Hi, this is Matt. Just before we start the show, I want to tell you about a free white paper that I've just published on AI and talent acquisition. We all know that AI is going to dramatically change recruiting, but what will that really look like? For example, imagine a future where AI can predict your company's future talent needs, build dynamic external and internal talent pools, craft personalised candidate experiences and intelligently automate recruitment marketing. The new white paper, 10 Ways AI Will Transform Talent Acquisition, doesn't claim to have all the answers, but it does explore the most likely scenarios on how AI will impact recruiting. So, Get a head start on planning and influencing the future of your talent acquisition strategy. You can download your copy of the white paper at mattalder.me slash transform. That's mattalder.me slash transform. There's been more of scientific discovery, more of technical advancement and material progress in your lifetime and mine than in all the ages of history. Hi there. Welcome to episode 604 of Recruiting Future with me, Matt Alder. Many employers regularly offer internships, but the role of these internships in long-term hiring strategies can be pretty tenuous. So what happens when a company puts interns at the centre of its hiring strategy and proactively leverages this to build long-term pipelines of valuable talent? My guest this week is Leah Borden. VP of Talent at staffing and consulting firm Alku. Alku has put internships at the heart of their resourcing strategy for several years. In our conversation, Leah shares precisely how they do this and the considerable benefits and value that it drives. Hi, Leah, and welcome to the podcast. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for having me today. An absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Please, could you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Yes. Uh, my name is Leah Borden. I'm the vice president of talent at Alcu. And that means basically I'm responsible for attracting, training, growing, and developing the internal sales population um, at the company. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit more about the company and what it does. Yes. Great question. Um, so Alcu is a specialty staffing firm focused on connecting highly specialized top tier professionals with leading companies um, within a few different spaces. So IT, life sciences, and government staffing industries. Now, I think you've been with the company for a while, or certainly in, in recruitment for a while. How have you seen recruiting evolve over the last few years? Yeah, so I've been um, at Alcu for 13 years this month, actually. Um, so that's super exciting. And Basically, I was talking about this last week. It makes me feel kind of like a dinosaur to talk about how um, how much has changed since I started. And really the thing that sticks out the most and really what I think a lot of people are just talking about in general these days is the technology. So, you know, when I was starting off as a recruiter, I would be dialing the phones. My manager would be, you know, sitting near me, but there was no ability to dial in listening into calls, right? Like now we're able to really do that and be able to coach up um, our recruiters so much quicker and easier because we can dial into these, you know, calls to listen in. Um, you know, we were operating off pieces of paper, right? And now we have all these databases, ways of connecting with resources online. Just so much has evolved with technology. Absolutely. I mean, to make you feel less of a dinosaur, I was talking to someone about fax machines the other, the other day and how they how they revolutionize recruitment. So uh, that's going back, going back quite some time. So what's the market like at the moment for recruiting recruiters? What are the talent challenges that you're seeing? Yeah, so I've definitely seen a lot evolve over the last, you know, 10 years especially, but recently I really think it's a market for it's a talent can sorry, candidate driven market right now. Um talent driven market. So I think that a lot of, you know, the people that we're recruiting and you know, I think we're a little bit unique in our recruiting process because we do recruit entry level um 
you know, anyone can come work here, but we really do focus on entry level talent. Um, so we can train them up, but, um, the, the candidates are really taking a lot more time and considering all of their options. I've seen them getting much more input from their mentors, their family members, you know, because we're recruiting people out of school, a lot of them rely heavily on the advice of their, you know, professors and advisors as well. Um, they care a lot more about you know, the benefits and what what's provided, you know, what work-life balance and kind of the extras that um, companies provide these days, these days too. And is there an aspect of that about the, I kind of the overall reputational brand of recruiting as a, as a career path? Do you think, how do you think that kind of sits with the teachers, the parents, the mentors that are advising people? I guess, you know, when I started as a recruiter, yeah, no one really knew what that was, or it was like a negative connotation, right? It was like, oh, you're headhunting. And now we've seen so much more evolve with, especially with the colleges that we're working with for sales programs and, you know, staffing is sales. And so, you know, staffing and recruiting is sales. And so there is so much more knowledge at that level of understanding what the career path is and, how it can benefit them. And, you know, people want to go into sales more. I mean, when I, when I got into this job, I didn't know what it was and I just knew I wanted to make money. Um, and like, I was really competitive. So I, I felt like I could be good at it. So yeah, but yeah, I think it's, it's definitely evolved in that way towards more of a positive and more of a positive light. Talk to us about your internship program, because, you know, what you do is quite unique. So why did you launch it? How does it work? What kind of results do you get from it? Yeah, thank you for asking. It's one of our most exciting things, I think, um, and something that definitely sets us apart. Um, So we... We've always had, you know, internship program at our full-time offices, right? During the summer, people are looking for internships during winter break and things like that. But what we realized and what our CEO, Mark, kind of said one day was, hey, what if we could train these interns year round? That was something that we hadn't really considered to be able to do. And so you know, with our biggest limiting factor to growth, it it had always really been attracting, hiring those hardworking individuals, right? And so we thought if we have all these interns from these colleges, can we train them during the school year? And so we decided to open training centers near college campuses so that we could continue training throughout the year, these interns, and then hire them full time and launch them into, you know, our full-time workforce. How long has that been running now? So we launched our first training center in 2016. Wow. And what kind of results have you seen from it? You know, if that was, if that was sort of eight years ago, how, how successful has it been? How have people sort of moved through the organization? Yeah. So, oh, I wish I had the numbers off the top of my head, but honestly, so I, I started the first training center and I think the second launch class that I had, the second group of people that I had start at Elku full time, many of them are directors now. So they, yeah, so they launched, became successful and then got into leadership and are kind of, you know, running their own divisions and groups right now, which is awesome. Um, you know, what we have seen is a higher retention rate. Um, as full-time people. So if, if you've done the internship, you have a higher likelihood of sticking around with us full-time. Um, they also have a quicker ramp-up time. So, you know, they get trained as an intern so that they walk in here on their first day. And some of them maybe have already closed um, deals or gotten people to work. Um, so they understand the, the process in its entirety by that time, which is amazing. And you know, a training program, training new divi- individuals, it's costly. And so, you know, we've figured out that we can train interns, get them to be successful and then start at the company so that, you know, we're not, I think, I think the retention rate speaks a lot there, right? Because we're able to figure out during the internship, whether or not they're good fits and they do the same. They understand from us, like, no, you know what? Uh, recruiting's not for me. 
or, hey, I love this. Yes, I want to work full time. So we're able to kind of go through that attrition and retention situation in the internship process rather than full time. A quick message from our sponsor, Winolo. Hi, everyone. I want to tell you about Winolo. That's W-O-N-O-L-O. Winolo stands for Work Now Locally. Winolo enables businesses to find quality workers for on-demand, seasonal, short-term and long-term work. Ditch the bulky paperwork and interview process and use Winolo to find quality workers fast and get work done even faster. With flexible workers and no platform fees, you can save on operating costs, meet demand and maximise earnings with ease. Winolo is available in over 100 markets including Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, New York, and Seattle. Get workers who are ready to work and spend less time finding them with Winolo. Go to www.winolo.com slash pod. That's www.wonolo.com slash pod and take the stress out of finding workers. Welcome, change agents, to your go-to place for stories that ignite your spirit, fuel your purpose, and connect us all. We believe in the incredible power of the human spirit, its boundless resilience, and the inspiration it brings to our lives. On the Driving Change podcast, we'll journey together through the extraordinary, yet very relatable experiences of some of the most amazing people on earth. Our mission? That through these stories, we might just spark change within you, and awaken a newfound motivation to harness your unique gifts to make a real difference in the world. So get ready to be inspired and join us on this incredible adventure. You can find the Driving Change Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever you love listening to your favorite podcasts. How do you sort of hire people into that process? What are the particular qualities you look for? Is this this people from college? Is this people from school? How does that work? Yeah, so we do focus on um, college recruitment so we can get those entry level hires. It's it's um, you know focused around places that have sales programs, you know, working with career centers. But honestly, you don't even have to be wanting. Um, Sorry, you don't even have to have a special major or like a wanting to be necessarily in sales. We're looking for people with character traits, right? So people who are motivated, people who are hardworking, dedicated, you know, people who are really interested in kind of doing that fast paced type of job. We definitely recruit based on character traits and not necessarily, you know, what your major is. I think that does set us apart. You know, we're not looking at resumes and going to the bottom and figuring out if they were a specific major or not. We have, you know, I I was a government and women's studies major and I ended up in sales. (laughs) sales. <laughs> so. <laughs> there we go. And um, in terms of the skills that you teach them or develop within them, have they changed over the, the eight years that you've been doing this as, as recruiting's changed? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely it's, it's changed. I mean, we, we kind of figured out that we can train interns as we would train full-time people. And that took a little bit of time. I think, you know, we started training them on pieces of the process at the beginning and then realized we can give them more and why not? Because they're grasping it and they're getting good at it. And it's allowing them to start with that much more of a background and um, they're able to be more successful. So, you know, we definitely, when we had interns at the start, we definitely, we gave them a, a fraction of kind of the job, but now we're able to really train them on the full process. And what advice would you give to companies who are looking to grow their talent in this way? And, you know, not just kind of recruiting organizations, but any company that wants to take this kind of all, all year round structured internship program to, to kind of grow their pipeline of talent? Yeah, that's a great question. I would say do it. <laughs> You, um, you know, you have to really kind of go all in, right? And 
we have found that we have to treat, you know, we treat our interns as full-time employees. So that means they get all the fun stuff too. And they're able to be involved in a lot of our culture here at the company as well. So, you know, it's really an extension of our full-time base and it takes, it takes a lot of time and dedication and patience because they are a different population. But I think, you know, it's been totally worth it for us. And um, I mean, it, it's been nothing but positive for us, which has been great. And as a final question, we, we talked a bit about how recruiting's changed over the last sort of 10 to 13 years. What do you think is going to happen over the next five years? How is recruitment going to evolve even further? Yeah, so I I can't even imagine how it's going to exactly change. But, you know, again, I'm just going to go back to technology, right? I think that's such a hot topic these days. And, you know, specifically AI, I was thinking a lot about this over the past, you know, week or so. And, you know, I, I think AI is definitely going to be helping us with process efficiency and increasing our, our abilities with technology. You know, I'm I'm not afraid of it. I think that, you know, we embrace, you know, we at Alku embrace technology as a partner. And so I'm very interested to see how it can continue to benefit us and how we can kind of figure out how can we do more in this recruiting space with technology behind us like that, you know, and kind of how how is it going to really help us increase our efficiency and abilities. Leah. Thank you very much for talking to me. Yeah, thank you so much. It was really fun. My thanks to Leah. You can follow this podcast on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, or via your podcasting app of choice. Please also follow the show on Instagram. You can find us by searching for Recruiting Future. You can search all the past episodes at recruitingfuture.com. On that site, you can also subscribe to our monthly newsletter. Recruiting Future Feast, and get the inside track about everything that's coming up on the show. Thanks very much for listening. I'll be back next time, and I hope you'll join me. This is my show. The Jim Stroud Podcast explores the discoveries and trends forming the future of our lives. Brain-to-brain communication, robot bosses, microchip implants for workers, and artificial intelligence replacing human workers are all happening now. If you want to know what's happening next, subscribe now to the Jim Stroud Podcast.